Hey gang, I'm really sorry about this afternoon. I got completely booted out of internet. I had no internet here at all. I re rebooted my modem. I got a hold of a tech support. They have to send somebody over to my house. I think squirrels chew the wires or some stupid thing. Anyway, as I recall, what I was showing you is how to do gradient fills in Photoshop. And so what we did, we got into this menu here. We clicked on the color and showed you know how you can mess around with the color get a nice dark blue for your foreground color okay and then i want to change my background color um what notice this when i walk away from the menu inside the menu it says i can choose colors but outside the menu i can use this to pick a color like i could even pick a color over here i could pick a color off my face so there's all kinds of stuff that you can do i could pick that color there and then say i want a lighter color of that for the blue or actually what I want to do is something wild, like a fuchsia pink. Okay, so what I've got now is foreground and background colors selected. And if I go to my, my gradient tool right here, and then say I want that to go from there to there, there's my gradient. Pretty cool. Um, I've got where I started, it's going to be full blast foreground color. Where I let go, it's going to be full blast background color. So if I go corner to corner... I get very little solid blue and very little solid pink, and mostly gradient. Whereas if I go really short right here, mostly blue, mostly pink, very little gradient, very little crossover between those two. So you can kind of choose how you want that to work and which way, how much of it you get, which direction it heads, where you start and where you end makes all the difference. Now that's a linear gradient. That's this guy right here, that button. I could also do a radial gradient. So it's going to say foreground color to background color over the course of that whole thing. You saw I went right outside the box there and it said, no problem, I can do that. So it depends on how much you want. So you can get a radial gradient like that. There's also an angle gradient where it'll say, I'll start here and I'll wrap it around. So the blend happens on the other side. Kind of a wacky thing, but whatever. And then this reflected gradient or refracted, is it refracted or reflected? It's reflected gradient will pop a little bit back up onto the other side. So you get pink and blue and then a little bit of pink on the other side, a little bit of background color on the other side. And then there's a diamond gradient, which is like diamonds. So hopefully that's helpful for you. Um, I find the most useful thing is probably something like this. So you can do some kind of you know nice effects back there in the background of your movie poster. Um, I will post this video, and then as I go through, one of the things I want to make is, like, how do you bring in your character, or how do you do your sketch, and things like that. So, But I'll just continue to make these things and post them and make up the stuff that we missed in class today. Again, sorry about that, but I think it's going to be okay. See ya.